effort to find and treat eye diseases before they rob people of their sight may now become a model for the entire country. Local doctors are trying to help people who don't even realize that they are slowly going blind. The key is catching these diseases early. We first told you about this program last year, and tonight Joyce Evans shows us the findings doctors call both stunning and rewarding. We take a picture of the optic nerve. Do you see the light? Red. Great. We shoot the images back over to Wills. Our glaucoma specialists are reading them. And then we invite the patients back for a full eye exam if they have an abnormal image. Perfect. Just keep looking right at it. So far, about 800 patients have looked into the light of a Will's Eye handheld camera. For many of them, their very first eye exam ever. When's the last time you had an eye exam? <laughs> I haven't had none. <laughs> For 57 years, Eric Graham never got to it. And knowing there's something wrong. Are you on any medications? Because every time I think my sugar is low or high, my vision gets real blurry. He settles for the sharpest focus he can match from the reading glasses on a stand. What? Knowing I'm doing wrong, I shouldn't, uh, I'm doing wrong. You knew you were wrong. Yeah, my wife too. A golden opportunity for Eric, Adele Newman. How's your vision? It's a little fuzzy, I guess because I'm getting older. And for Daryl Casson. Had you ever had that before? No, ma'am. No. They all just happen to have other medical appointments on this day at the Mary Howard Health Center. Yeah, it's a blessing because I've been wanting to get my eyes checked again. Lucky for Adele, Will's Eye Hospital had set up its free telemedicine study program here, funded by the CDC. If we can detect glaucoma earlier in high-risk populations, then we can get people into care and we can reduce the risk of blindness. But the highest risk populations are the least likely to have access to screening and treatment for glaucoma and other sight robbing diseases like cataracts and macular degeneration. This truly gives us the opportunity to meet the patients where they are and more importantly to have their uh, diagnoses or have their conditions managed and it's all at this site. And at other clinics and primary care doctor offices. And if, we, and if I had to give them a rating, it would be A+. Plus. Really? Yes, because they're doing something for the community. They can't afford it. They're hoping to stop what Will's Eye experts believe is becoming an epidemic in cities like Philadelphia. But the treatment is critical. Back at Will's Eye, Dr. Jonathan Myers, co-director of Glaucoma Services, examining the initial images taken from hundreds of patients at off-site locations. And what'd you find? And these optic nerves are not normal. They show signs of glaucoma and clear damage from glaucoma. And this patient didn't know they had a problem. So this is just the sort of patient we're hoping to find. Walking around without a clue, no symptoms, but slowly going blind. Years of damage and never saw it coming. The tissue of the optic nerve is thinner than we would like. So this optic nerve shows even thinner rim tissue. In fact, over here, it's hard to identify any of that pink-orange rim tissue that is normally present in the optic nerve. This patient will be sent to a specialist and retested with their eyes dilated for a closer look. Significant damage here cannot be reversed. Use either eye drops or laser or surgery to prevent the blindness that glaucoma can cause. If this person does nothing, they probably will lose their sight, and this person is not that old. So just look straight ahead for me. This is phase two of the study we first told you about more than a year ago. That's it? That's it. They were just wrapping up screening of about 1,600 people in senior centers. Your forehead's going to go here. Almost 40% had some type of glaucoma or glaucoma suspect. And they're already detecting more glaucoma and other eye ailments in phase two, says Will's Eye Research Director, Dr. Lisa Hark. Because after your first story, we got a lot of calls, and people want to know where to go and what to do. All 
Daryl, Adele, and Eric had to do was say yes to the test when they came in for their routine doctor's appointments. If you, I hadn't seen you guys, I probably would have just kept on sliding on by. Well, sliding by is over. Adele's eyes are fine, but both Eric and Daryl are diagnosed with cataracts, and now they become part of the group treated and monitored for the next three years. I'm going to do what I got to do because this is what I need. Joyce Evans, Fox 29 News.